It's time for another weekend foodie fun. Ooh, and this pot pie is the pot pie of all pot pies. <laughs> <laughs> it's got the most delicious, savory, beefy, veggie filling oh, you won't believe. That's right. Oh, and that crust. Mm. Flaky, buttery, oh, you just want to crack right into it. <laughs> After one bite, your family is going to be saying, I want more beef pie. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I would. I would, I do. <laughs> so I'm Chris. And I'm Wesley. My extra lean beefy pie. <laughs> Loom. <laughs> I'm one of those things. You're no, all, all of them. them. Well, you're <laughs> a mix of everything. Oh, so we're so God. excited we're making a pot pie and we're going to beef. Yes, Yay. ground beef. And we are partnering with Laura's Lean and we're using Laura's Lean, 96% uh, lean ground beef. Look 96%. at that. 96%. Oh. Folks, we are talking lean. lean. So let it's me crazy lean. So let me just, crazy lean. Crazy uh, lean. <laughs> I knew a girl once named that. <laughs> um, crazy name Eileen. Eileen yeah. So anyway, look how beautiful this is. This is a pound of the 90%, uh, 96% oh. lean ground beef. And um, I just love it. I, I'm so excited about you it. You can just tell immediately when you pick up the packaging, it's pristine. It's really, really good. It's a healthier way to eat beef, uh, which is always a good thing. Yeah. In fact, it's so it's just so great that the American Heart Association um, this has is crazy. Yeah. It's it's like past their heart check program. It's nuts. Which US, is so hard to do. And the USDA has it is, it's has certified it extra lean, as, which is like impossible, <laughs> I think. Well, they've done it. They've done it. So anyway, we're going to cook this, and I'm going to cook this um, until it's no longer pink. But it's just so wonderful. This is one of those projects that you can go the whole nine yards, like you know yeah. we like to do, and we're going to go, we're going to make our crust. Do it crust, on the weekend. Yeah. We're going to do our veggies. Um, and so you can, it's a weekend project, or you can sort of do some uh, cuts or some hacks like we're going to show you or tell you about that makes it perfect for like a weeknight. Yeah, or, yeah. Um, so anyway. This is Father's Day is coming up. Oh, that's right. This is perfect. I mean, who, which father? Well, our, you know, we're fathers to our fur babies, and uh, oh. beef and beer are like the best things ever. That's right. That's right. So we're, you know, <laughs> assuming your dad likes to have a beer every now and then, this is going to be a fun project for him. If not, he can just use beef stock. Yeah. All right. We're going to get this uh, cooked, and then we're going to come back, and we're going to start on the veggies. Yay. Okay, look at that. Isn't That's that beautiful? So I mean, and, you can, and the thing is, I oh. I can just see the quality, and I can smell the quality, actually, mm. as it's cooking. So I like to season as we go. So this is about a half a teaspoon of kosher salt and a half a teaspoon of black pepper. And um, so now, as you can see, I'm cooking this in my cast iron skillet because we are going to we're eventually gonna put be, it in the oven. We're going to cook it in the <laughs> oven. But there's all different ways you can do this. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and... Yes, I got it. Don't lose any of that no. wonderfulness. I, oh, look at there we go. There we go. Let me tell you, this is a, this is a meat you're gonna want to lean into. <laughs> it's so <laughs> yummy. Okay, so now we we've, we've left a little meat in there, but that's okay. That's, that's it's, all right. It's all going all to the same, the same place. Do you want to get it over here? here? Let me just put a little. Over here. Okay, but like what I was gonna say, if you don't want to do this in your cast iron skillet, you could you could cook this up and then put it in a a pie dish. There's there's all different kinds of ways that you can do it. Okay, so now we're gonna start building the veggies. I'm gonna put about a tablespoon of olive oil in there, and I'm gonna crank up my heat a little bit. I love this. And we're gonna start. I love these I veggies. Know, I know. We're gonna start by simmering or sautéing some chopped onion. And that's like one medium-sized onion. It's about a cup. And um, we're going to continue cooking these for about four minutes until they're nice and soft. Okay. These are nice and soft. They smell delicious. I love it. <laughs> it's starting to smell good in here, It folks. is. It is. All right. Now we're going to add. These are three uh, garlic cloves that I've minced. And then I've got a tablespoon of fresh thyme that I've chopped. Now, this is only going to go for about 30 seconds until it becomes nice and aromatic. I told you there are things that you can do along the way, I'll tell you, to kind of speed things up. You can use dry thyme if you want. No problem. Just go with less, like right. a teaspoon. Um, and, um, okay, that smells <laughs> it smells so great. Good. Now we're going to add the veggies. So let me tell you, I use, I, I love using chopped carrots. This is like, a, this is probably like three or four chopped carrots. We used our little chopper to do this. <laughs> oh, um, it's great. It makes it so easy. It does. And you, <laughs> but in what I, what I would like to say on this is that you want to try and go for uniform size for your vegetables. Yeah. So this is like, I got one nice size Yukon gold carrot. Again, I used my little chopper to chop them, but they yes. so easily do this with Totally. And it keeps them uniform. And then this is, uh, this is like three stalks of celery that I roughly chopped. Now, now can you use frozen vegetables? 
vegetables you if you absolutely don't could and do <laughs> I do all the just time. Just get a bag of mixed vegetables. Yeah, the only thing I would I you I wouldn't I normally I don't even know if they sell frozen um, they do sell frozen potatoes, but I, those are more like hash, hash brown browns. potatoes. Ooh, what I hey. would do, <laughs> well, that would be a, an option, a breakfast beef pot pie. Hey. But anyway, what I was going to say is just go ahead and saute your potatoes, and then if you're using the frozen variety, like we're going to do with the peas, put them in right at the very last minute. Um, okay, and so now we're going to, we're not going to cook these until they get completely soft because that happens we're as they bake. We're not going to cook bake. them until they get completely soft. Yeah, we're just going to. We're gonna, not going to cook them all the way into completely right, soft. Right, right. We're going to cook them until they start to get soft. Ah, um, yes. And then we'll just keep building um, this incredible pot pie. <laughs> uh, the smell is so great. <laughs> I so, love the color, too. I know, the color is so great. It's so, it's just one of those ultimate comfort uh, Yay. dishes. So these have been cooking now for about 10 minutes. You can see the potatoes are starting to just brown a little bit. But again, they're not cooked all the way through. If you took a bite, you'd be like, that's a little crunchy. Ow, my tooth. My tooth. Okay, so now <laughs> we are going to put two tablespoons of all-purpose flour. We're going to sprinkle that all over. And what is this going to do, Wesley? Well, it's going to act as a thickener. Yes, and what do we call, call it? A roux. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yes, okay. yes. We love saying that so much. So you want to cook this for a, about a minute just because you want to cook that flour taste out. Um, and so then, oh, it's so I love good. that we're using ground beef for this pot pie. Yes. Because a lot of pot pies have the like the little chunks of beef. Brisket, This yes. is so much. I just love it because you could, I feel like you get more beef out of it. <laughs> it's just accessible and, and yummy and everybody loves ground beef yes, and it's so totally. homey and it family friendly. Okay, so now I've got a tablespoon of uh, good old tomato paste. Yes. Now we're really going to start to deepen those flavors that are going to complement that lean mm. ground beef so well. I'm just going to, you can go ahead and put that this in. This is. That, that's a tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. Oh, yes. Yes. Yum, yum, yum. Again, we're deepening that flavor. These all work so perfectly mm -hmm. with the beef. Um, okay, that's right, lovely. I'm being your sous chef and moving Thank you, Sue. <laughs> um, okay, so, oh, I'm Flinging veggies. Yeah, quit flinging I know, the veggies. We don't want to lose anything. Okay, so now we're going to add the liquid. So I'm going to go ahead and put in one cup of just good old quality beef stock. Um, and then you've got something. <laughs> yeah, over there that I've got my beef and beer over here. <laughs> and we're going to throw in this beer, right? Yes. The whole thing. We've got a whole bottle. I believe that's Guinness. what that's. There you go. That's a whole bottle of Guinness. That's 11 ounces. Now, if you don't want to cook with beer, absolutely no problem. You can use this all as, you just do all beef broth, and it's still going to be absolutely delicious. Yeah, yeah. But if you do cook with beer, Guinness is really Save good. Save some for yourself. <laughs> Save too. some for yourself. Yeah, yeah, get enough to like swig on. Okay, so now what we're going to do? This seems like really liquidy, which it is, which is good. Um, we are, but that roux is going to start to do its work oh, yes. and start to thicken things and up. Make a sauce that's so delicious. It's so delicious, and it's also going to continue to soften those vegetables. And then we're going to add that beautiful beef, some peas, and then Yay. cover it with pie dough, and, and just <laughs> be in heaven. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Listen to that. That look. looks awesome. <laughs> I'm ready. Give me a spoon. I know, I'm ready to eat. Just give me that beef. So we, what we did is we let this come to a nice a boil. boil. Yeah. And then I reduced the heat and just let it simmer for about uh, just 10 minutes. And, and you can see, yeah. like we said, that roux did its business. It made this yes. beautiful, beautiful sauce. And those, those veggies are just continuing to soften. OK, so now I'm going to add in um, this some more is color. A, a color. This is a cup of frozen peas. And then I'm going to season it here with a teaspoon of salt, about a half a teaspoon of black pepper. I'm gonna go ahead and stir this around. And then, and as you add these final ingredients, it really, the, the sauce just becomes the perfect ratio to this. That looks so good. Right. Are we ready for the beef? Bring me the beef. <laughs> All right, here, let's just dump it right in. Oh. Now this, be, what they call this never ever. This is never, never ever. ever, hashtag never ever, had um, hormones or antibiotics. It's been like grass or vegetarian fed 100%. Yeah, it's they, they, work, they only work with Laura's Lean, only works with farmers um, who are just really are top of the game and really know how to <coughs> raise healthy, del delicious cattle. And so they're all vegetarian <laughs> Can fed. I, I just need to. Ar ar I know. Ar ar aren't you ready to eat? <laughs> so you see how this kind of absorbs a lot of that sauce and it's just oh, phenomenal. Man. All right. I'm going to. Oh my gosh. I know. <laughs> it's heavenly. So I'm going to let this just cook for about five minutes. Yeah. And that, we're going to get our crust ready. And then we're going to get that. our crust ready. and. Um, and we're getting so close. Yay! 
Okay, Yay. it's dough time, yes. folks. All right, so we, we rolled this out. We made our own dough. I've got the recipe for our super easy pie dough um, in the description. You can click on that. And uh, but of course, another easy thing that you can do to make it even easier on yourself. Watch it. it watch it is uh, just to get some store bought pie dough. But if you've got the time and you're wanting to make a fun a foodie weekend project, make your own. It just yes. makes everything better. When, you, Especially if you're doing this for dad day. I mean, you know, get dad in the kitchen yes. and help out. And you see so, how the, sorry, I'm- Go ahead, no, he's- You he, see how the extra dough is here? Just kind of take it over the, the edge and like double the, the crust right yeah. there. Yeah, I mean, if you need to cut some of it away. No, he, no, he the more crust, that. the better. He's a crusty one and he really <laughs> likes to take it over the edge in case you haven't noticed. Okay, so now what we need to do is we just, we want this to get beautifully golden brown. Um, I've got my oven preheated to 375. So I'm gonna just cover this, wash this with a little egg bath. And all this is, is one egg that I mix together with one tablespoon yeah. of Yes. water and what that does is it just it just makes the crust really go that beautiful golden brown that we all love with a pot pie that looks I'm trying to crimp oh well you're crimping my style I'm sorry that I'm crimping your style <laughs> and this is one of those things that it's not like it's it doesn't have to be a gorgeously no I like the rustic the look. rustic yeah. feel to it I mean it looks I like a little bit of a crimp I, well <laughs> I know you do we all know that okay that's Hold wonderful on, there we go Look at that, y'all. Okay, Yay, hold on. There's yeah, kind of, if some of it comes apart a little bit, just That's you right, can just pinch it together. Pinch it. Pinch. Okay, so now this is going to bake for about 45 minutes until it gets really, really uh, golden on top. And also this, this crust is gonna help the inside steam. And um, it'll steam so much that you need to let uh, some of that steam be released. Right. So I'm just creating three slits right here in my crust, Perfect. which will just help let some of the steam come out. But also what that steam does is it just perfectly bakes those uh, vegetables mm. until mm. they are so ready to go. So let's bake this. I can't wait any I can't longer. either. Yes. <laughs> oh, the smell. You know, there are some dishes that I get more excited about than others when they're almost ready. Yeah, you and know what? Just I'm really excited <laughs> about this. I can't help it. The smell is ridiculous. I know, stop talking. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, that is spot. gorgeous. Oh, isn't that beautiful? Look at that. Oh, here, let's just. Isn't oh. that beautiful? So, oh. one thing. That looks, I'm sorry. It's, I, it's and just yeah. wait till we dig into it, which we're going to have to wait because there's lava that's not as hot as this is. But um, <laughs> one thing that you might want to do, this did beautifully, it baked beautifully, um, but there is that sauce in there and some, sometimes it likes to bubble over, kind of like a volcano does. Yeah. So what I do is I put a baking sheet, um, just like on the rack beneath it, or you can even put this on a rack. Just but I so think this did good. It did very well. So it didn't bubble over. It didn't. So we need Dang. to let this rest because otherwise you'd have to call 911 if we <laughs> dug into it right now. <laughs> so we're going to let it rest for about five minutes and then we're going to eat. Yes. Okay, the wait is, is done. I, we can't wait any longer, so all right. Oh, I just gotta be careful. I know. Uh, oh, Chris. <gasps> that crust. That crust. Is, I'm gonna just cut this right here yeah, so we can get a nice yeah, view. so everybody can see it. Oh. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, bring that whole thing close to me. I'm going to. Yes. And I'm just gonna oh. use this. I'm gonna... Yay. I'm oh give some my. More of this. Oh, here, yeah, bring that over here. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm, I'm uh, salivating. Yes, I'm playing with my food, but look at that, you guys. <gasps> Just wow. <gasps> look I mean, crust. look at that filling. I know. I feel like we're in <sighs> Dublin <sighs> at a, the best pub ever in the <sighs> world. Oh my gosh. Okay, uh, I'm gonna have to blow on this a little bit, obviously. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> Let me just get a little crust. We're taking one for the team, but it's, yeah. <laughs> I, it, it, honestly, it's, we couldn't wait any longer. Oh, wow. It smells so good. Hold on, Chris, I'm, I'm having trouble. Make sure you get plenty of that beef, that yes. lean beef. Yes, yes. All right, you ready? Mm-hmm. That is the ultimate in comfort food. Y'all! <laughs> uh, I can't even, I can't, I'm gonna burn my mouth. It's worth it. It's worth every little blister. Actually, it's not that bad. Oh, oh my gosh, that beef is so delicious. 
and so it's just everything about. I can't even tell you. You know, you don't. I mean, if you want to get a, feel a little healthier, use this lean ground beef, and it, you won't tell the difference in taste. You will at not all. compromise. I, oh, y'all, forget about it. This is ten thousand percent Luna proof. <laughs> now I know you're probably wondering. Okay, that's great. Where can Yay. I get my hands on Laura's lean beef? Yes, they're, they're everywhere. So they are in all of the major uh, supermarkets yes. and retailers. So they're not hard to find. We yes. have. A you can we, go to our website also. You, you can, can order, order online. them online. We have a link in the description uh, of you guys. Y'all. Y'all. <laughs> this yeah. is um, yeah. Make this for Father's pop. Day. A little beer and beef, and your dad will love your you dad, forever. Your dad will like, like, you're moving back in, kiddo. <laughs> All right, we love you guys so much. Beer and beef. Woohoo! <laughs>